I am welcome. I hope you can hear me. If you can, please let me know. You guys suddenly realize my uh, head switched off, though, is sitting on my head. Thank you. It's brilliant. So I'm getting everyone also hear me. Hey, we just learned from last week's webinar where I invited you to take part vocally to actually to myself and the other audience or heads or whatever. I want that, but the little lesson I learned from last week is to mute your your mind and point you will speak. This whole webinar is being recorded so that you can go away later on as well. And you people who forgot that are actually having conversations with other people in their office, which are recorded. So for the sake of um, uh, keep it to speak, is that okay? Excellent. I'm a little bit curious still as to the outcome of the conversation that's going on for some time. Thank you. See you week as ever. Bless you. Without further ado, the third of our webinars on human learning, looking at the tins and pearls of learning. Today I'm going to be focusing on number three. Uh, when Alex knows me well, I think I introduced myself to you last week. To clarify, I am not Sharon. I am. So, what of wisdom number three, we're actually going to be incorporating two of the deadly sins, number three and number five. I think it's a bit more interesting. Webinar, as you know, is to set clear outcomes, both what the intervention is actually needed, and as themselves. Because it's important that we get all that right and get everything aligned and give maximum benefit to everyone. So stuff in number three. Emotions. Just as as and hearing me say don't engage emotion, just do it. it. Does that evoke for you? What can I give? Chaz, it gets his back up as in Mark. Yes, yeah. had been in a situation maybe happening to others. It could be the manager, it could be the organization's culture as a whole. Where to employees, etc., is leaves at the door. They have no, do not them in. No, have. And when we did um, the NEC World of Learning event a few weeks ago at Birmingham, my who I know. Try emotional intelligence at someone from the services when she was talking about emotions, how we deal with it, deal with the sex and not on human. No. no. Let's say there are emotions at the door, they don't bring into the office. Work out for it. See each other in utter amazement. Uh, me? 
bones make up the people. You know, robots, beings, feelings. My point is, I'm robots. And emotions are going to come through the door with us, whether it's training course, whether it's at work. Where feelings with us, it's how we control them. Very a, tra- a learning facilitator, as we like to call ourselves now. Aware of the most of how we are feeling. Would you? No, please. A mark on to part their feelings at the door of work. Absolutely. Now, I besought their experience of, of learning. Um, is, it has actually been a complete lack of emotional engagement between the the facilitator or trainer and the learners have any regard for the emotional landscape of learners. Now this intelligence so comes in and I I'm a collector of emotional intelligence. She lives and breathes it. She's a master of it. And I'm feeling intelligence was not seen as relevant in traditional learning for so many years. It is finally relevant and planned for, and yes, it absolutely should. How to deliver a script to the learners. They have no Yeah, you know, like then you go on a on a on a new course or something or other. FM. What for me? We as we want to know what we're going to get out of it, don't we? We know that that counts, and we want. I'm going to share some personal experiences and maybe some experiences of others. Emotional intelligence. Uh, this is, fair enough, this is years and years ago. The training course. I money, had money to go on this training course. I saw it business for myself. Teach English to foreign students. And I had it twice a week. She was lovely. We got on so well. The of us enjoyed it. I where I dreaded those days when I had a different trainer. And it led to to turn up at that door because I knew I was going to have a difficult time. He's female, and I only worked this out afterwards after my interest had been engaged quite highly. He was a myself and one other female on the course. The other um, people were guys. We, you know, my friend and I got off. Brilliantly was on the course, but not. Yeah. And even he cracks his comments, this, that, and that. And, you know, he's got love of the things. But, you know. but 
with my back, was he a good trainer? Absolutely not. He had to say for us. He didn't run us. This us by his behavior in which learning very difficult on those evenings. Initially it was just me, but then I found my, my female was also suffering. When he actually told her in front of the whole class that she was stupid. So stupid. First class honours degrees, one from Oxford and one from Cambridge. Was stupid and was Britain. But that Paul. Now, the can learn the experience for the students. I back on all my experiences as a learner. I've had trainers. I've had okay. trainers and some bad ones. Well, what I focusing on on the negative of the the bad thing. Do you know what? It's not going to be that person. In how not not to do not to interest students. So people experience any bad or brilliant experiences yourself that you'd be happy to share and. Because at the moment, if this is a point, if you want to just, um, I will end, which I love. Ian? Yeah, I've had a, a really kind of interesting experience. I was on a risk assessing course. I've been trying to be a risk assessor for my old employer. Oh. Um, and the, it's interesting what you said about emotional intelligence because as a child, I have to pick to the audience. And the audience for all people who work with my banking insurance background. Mm -hmm. And his whole um, presentation, which lasted oh, for six hours, related to the retail network, to like, um, like a Tesco stores or an Argo stores or an Arsenal store it didn't relate to banking and finance. So the example he gave was not relevant to the audience. Okay. Uh, yeah, and at the end of the day, the actual assessment was based on a video which set in, um, I think it was um, a Tesco house. Mm -hmm. so none of it was really relevant. And he's trying to make it relevant. Now you could have teed up by saying that normally I present this on a, on a level typical for my, my background. So I'm going to do what I've got kind of thing yeah. into what's relevant how can you can you, see, can you see how this can be relevant to you but we kind of looked at each other and two of the audience were kind of trying themselves and I, and I, I hate to say this but I was self kind of near sleep half because none of it is relevant but I always yeah. enjoy going on training courses because I think it's a good point to learn from what other people do and how they do things but yeah. I was totally disengaged after the first time that was probably on the longest uh, three quarter days of my kind of training Career, I've done the risk assessment course myself. I've got to do an exam at the end to absolutely, qualify. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Experience of risk assessment a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for sharing, Mark. No, that, that's no, absolutely it's... brilliant. And, and a, a, a perfect example of shame to the needs of the, the audience. Yeah. I I had an experience with, with the biggest training organisations a few uh, um and really hard to organisation at the time to get this thing and they fight to it and went up to them to be cool. Um, six, so we've cancelled it. I said, tell me. Well, 
I said, you did to me for the last two weeks, reminding me, not, you know, the train is coming up, you could have stood me, I just spent two and a half hours getting here, I've not go turn and go all the way back again, again. Yeah, what time and money, and the comfort of money, it, and I went up again, and the track again, got her in to run the course, who, yeah, she up front said, this isn't my topic. So I, and that and the other. This guy, and we, we got we got round it by, I on the cover because I'd done enough research myself on the topic to be able to say, but well, if, and, you know, experience, how about, and then getting me the rest of with me. Objects of having the trainer of that subject is what I wanted to know because I wanted to be able to draw experience. Ask them whether they could say, Yeah, I had this, and what I did was it's because from the trainer, I know I do. Because as they're talking, you're starting to think, Oh, no, question, how would that relate to that? Maybe if I ask them, they'll be able to give me some guidance. It's quite important to hang her in the right for the right audience. So, And to people, and I talked to um, coaches who are maybe starting to running shops and things like that. Or how we felt or feel when learning something new ourselves. Put us in the of our learners. Okay. Then number five. If it's no practice or follow up time. And if they're just speaking at you, train. I train to me, it's a to train me and my audience. And that's why I talk back to me if you. You know, turn to me or, or to my answer. Also, it's a partnership. So that's my way of working. Right? On courses where literally the tracks are telling you this is how you do it, this is what you need to do, uh, happen, this is what you find. I can note, but you to practice what you've just taken on board. The whole course, I think, try this because I'm on the business of coaching, and give people time to go do an exercise. So, from what they've just learnt, they can practice what they've just learnt, which had it. Absolute size chunk mark, totally. And the office or your workplace, or for me, my, my own office, I'm going to implement what it is I've just learnt. What sort of can I put in doing this? Coach a brilliant support mechanism to offer on top of the training. Do I will offer a follow up session, maybe say a couple of after the course? How are you on? Any issues? Anything you want to discuss? 
And then our second code session, say four weeks are later on. Have you managed to do it? Support, if not coaching, it could be you could do further online webinars like this to come back and ask questions. Men, excuse me. There's all manner of ways we can do it, and we'll, we'll be going to do more of those later in this session. All time for reflection, or even if no games, no fun. When you're learning something new, it's enjoyable, it relaxes you. Proven that peeing how on learn much, much better. Opportunity or lack of opportunity to practice or repeat what they've just learned. Actors have not been involved in the process in any way, shape, or form. So they actually know what it is the learner's going to come back with and went. And very often the learner goes back, very old fired up, I have to do this, I want to change this system, but the man goes, hey, whoa, 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 I know about this. What are you, you coaching system? Yeah, no, sorry. It comes to time for the learner. Covers on one of the earlier sessions. So the learners, their managers, and as within the organisation, you know, like holder, if you like, stakeholder engagement, any involved, need process. Okay. So, a question for you here. Because I have things after I put these together, so I just want what needs to be considered. So, if you're putting together experience or a training course for others, it would need to be considered to and to. I'll um, speak. Oh no, come on, let them stand over the audience. Uh, if I've not done any work with them before, then always make sure that all kind of uh, learning styles are catered for visual, auditory, um, you know, you two feet and kinetics as well. Um, my kind of previous existence training in the call center when I was seating 180 people um, and what I did was, was actually send out uh, a learning style questionnaire when I joined to understand what each person's learning style was and it can be catered for them in the training um, because at the time it was all very much very deep dimensional it was just I'm going to show something and really something and that's it a bit like saying are you on about there's no practice and no fun involved so, so for me I kind of introduced um, the kind of games of learning introduced things like you want to be near quiz Lost a quiz. Um, so, on actual application mm -hmm. of knowledge, when a call center, you have this fantastic ability to record call. So, mm -hmm. you can set up dummy calls with people, make them back in the training so people can hear what they sound like and what they need to pick from the first call to perhaps their fifth or sixth. And so, so you usually hear each other kind of bring on that knowledge as well. So, they get an appreciation of how they're improving over a period of, of a number of days around these kind of events. Um, you know, if you you can also have best practice as well. We've got pre-recorded material, whether that's video or whether that's audio as well. You can kind of demonstrate some how how best this can be going forward as well. So it becomes a kind of a sharing kind of seminar rather than just a kind of telling session, which is much more beneficial. Absolutely brilliant, and I love the fact you send out a questionnaire in advance so that you can count. All to cover the AK, the visual aesthetic, absolutely perfect. So from that, I can surmise 
that you must be an excellent trainer. Well done. I've come in talking about designing some games uh, and make us enough time to play them properly. Now, I happen to know that he ran an excellent workshop a few days ago where he'd also incorporate games, etc. and they all had a fantastic time. And they were learning to with influence. Um, in many different ways we can engage with our learners, isn't it? Now, what I something, as I say, and it is for myself a note on considered. And it must go slightly off track, but it's based on an experience, one it I actually had, and um, a sit found myself in recently. I haven't been, been asked by CCAM, the South East Coast Ambulance Service, to form for people, it's about six of us, to them with their equality and diversity, fighting, uh, etc. I want to workshop with them to find out more about it, etc. And we were asked a question. Which times so I'm going to share it. They asked for medics, etc. They're highly visible, highly visible. If a new training course that the paramedics absolutely had to go on to to up to the equality and diversity issues. I like I can't say no but in the feeling that you're actually going to come back at me and say, Yes, we do. And she said, Yes, we really do, you're right. You in a normal way of things, you just of course. You know, it's a six-week course. We're going to set it every Wednesday or one day a week. Six weeks builds up on the course. You have to do it. It's part of the simple, I say. The of having to look at culture because they set the point in which they were putting this particular course together Rama going to happen? Would it be to have, you know, to that religion on a course, unable to eat or drink when the rest of their colleagues are drinking? And I like prayer times absolutely. See, it opens with equality and diversity. We actually, as trainers, we have to take that into account, don't we? Some of the constraints or situations that we have to be the key with equality and diversity is that we have taken all reasonable care. We are going to be able to please everyone all the time. On the side, the I have. Was the first day of a two day climate assisting on on the registration desk. I was there as an assist. I'll come up with you if you've been assisting the NLP. But registration desk, and this lady came in, and I said, No, greeted her as, Hi, how are you? This and the other. If I could just ask you to sign the registration form and make your name badge. And said, can you do it for me? A more immediate thought to my aunt, oh, she's got an injury, she can't write. But, no, you, you know, do you have them? Let me help at all. So I, I ticked her in, actually. She said, well, she said, it's Saturday and it's, I'm strict. strict. Do um, write or do anything. So would you sit with me for the whole today and make me on the course? Oh. Okay. And there, there, 
whatever, are there to help every and of me on just being on this course today. And it's a big course. Very quickly and very tightly, it would love to help run for look after everyone. I'll make your notes for you. Guess what? They're not notes. That is, it would be my interpretation. I said, what I can say to you is, you've got, you have a manual, everything manual, and you'll be given a recording. Oh, so if you have any questions, my back tomorrow and answer your questions when you can engage. I think she ate till lunchtime and then went home. And never but we had never encountered that in all the years we've been running that course and many others. That before and we sort of did a double take. But again it's listen. Hang on the time today. So to some people of a certain faith. And not for well put real notes, but it's true though, isn't it? We have our own notes. Just, I can't the people's notes, so I, I you know, I could find anyone bring you to work with my notes and not any that yeah. my handwriting. It's atrocious. It's I think I was so good at the putting doctor's handwriting. Writing. So quite a lot of things actually we need to consider now as learning facilitators. We'll do it. Actually we'll do it. So what do you mean by natural learning over you? Yeah. So we all the time. Um, <laughs> Supposing question I'd be called sitting here for a minute completely perplexed by I suppose visual rather than the words. <laughs> so Wouldn't you love to live in that setting? Absolutely. Yeah, I, think, I think I'd be easy tracks as well. Yeah, I could do as well. Um, I suppose for me, I suppose natural learners, I suppose, it's back to how we natural learners humans, I suppose, kind of learning from each other. Um, read us an interesting piece earlier about um, the schooling in the US and and kind of what state that is in that moment, and how people are forced to learning in a, in a kind of very, very um, pair fashion. But I suppose a natural is to learn from other people, to learn as a group, to learn together. Um, so for me, I think natural, for me, it's natural is looking for things, looking things up on the internet. Obviously, nowadays, it's very prevalent. So through, you know, the great health, health but book size, it's obviously totally on many forces. But for me, actually, it's kind of working together towards the course and sharing that. Um, mm. your, your graphic has thrown me completely. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> no, I just love it. But um, you're absolutely right, Mark. Also, everybody learns differently naturally. It partly it's what we're saying, the BAK, etc. So about day on courses. We read books, we have seminars such as this, we take to maybe online discussions on LinkedIn, Facebook, other social media, we videos, we learn all the time. At time. So this is my appeal to the learning. 
people as I keep picking you, but bless you, be friend. But for example, you know, the end of course we both have done together face to face. Studio pictures, you know, copies of all the slides plus notes, etc. And so the students at the end of the second day are given a DVD of course been recorded on a previous experience. So back. So and to for them to practice everything else. We literally operate on the basis we minute and that's just what they've just learned. I hope you. I think one of the experiences I've ever been involved in, both as a learner myself when I started that job, going in and hear the, feel the buzz in the room. It's the buzz is there almost from five minutes after we walk through the door. We also need music. And we have some um, learning. And also, music is very useful for controlling the learning. Think of people breaks. Everyone's nasty to each other because they're meeting new people and they're finding people they think really want to get on. Yeah, I like this person. And they're having some great conversations. And you're standing there in front of the class and learning. They're faced with the people there shouting. Come on, again. we used to come loud to draw attention to us and come back and turn the music down slowly as they go back to this. It was great. Great, great learning. Absolutely. You're welcome. If you've got any questions, feel free to come back to me. Sorry. I've had an example here. My daughter, who's in the next door room before I use this, which is mine, is she? No. My little daughter, we're having to move. My mother and my youngest daughter from their current secondary school to one. Um, now it's being moved to another school. At that middle daughter, she hated physics with a passion. In Mara, when I got hold of the timetable, School on the first day of a brand new school, no one. First lesson, I left to sleep at the school, worried all day. Trepidation went to pick her up in the afternoon. In then, she looked into the car and, Oh my god, mother, I so love physics. Is this a good? Yeah, just seven hours ago. And you know, at the physics, in terms of listening to the teacher, reading the homework, etc. The first day at a brand new school was a displacement. No, I have the interface myself. Measurements and water displacement. That her new teacher do. He outside in the playground. One of the boy class sports gear gets to the bath, which is full of water, and them to, to measure exactly how much water had been displaced, etc., etc. Et the poor Jane. It's a bitterly wet day, but he did it. But for daughter's perspective, fit to life. Experienced it, she'd seen it, she felt it, she literally all you know, had 
been and from that day on that teacher and that one experience GCSE physics which you would have dropped at this opportunity with the point that the teacher Mr. Rutman had great substance sizzle and sensitivity and he did is at school he had lessons for how people learned. whenever they feel demons and he got the kids to do it I mean the way all learning should be so, so many kids come out of school you know, they're totally bored because they haven't had that engagement. The sun have not been brought to life. We as we must for something new. We're human beings. We still want that. We want get to operate. And you mark your right. It's to do for years. Gotten Mr. Rutland, nor have I. He's going to come. Oh, God. Did you hear his learners? What did you used to do for his, his kids? Right? In the days when Smarty Sunny started producing the blue Smarties, I used to buy a ton of Smarties and pick all the blue ones and keep them in a container. Only. He'd bring to school on when the days when his students had exams. Outside the door of the exam room with a chain of blue Smarties. And I walked in. He'd say, don't forget pill. Or a blue smarty, but call them brain pills. If you get this brain pill, you will pass. You will with the exam. Brain pill. How does that? You're going to an exam anyway. But you take off and he's taking care. He's giving you a brain pill. So guess what? You know. I'm not a problem. She's going to create a better mindset for tapping that exam. So you I hold Mr. Rutland up as a brilliant example of how to teach. And I've found straight away before the pen to pay the absolutely right mark. And yes, Chaz, in suggestion to do. They, so he recognised I need plans for all aspects of learning and how the students felt. He never got nervous right now. There's a for them at our particular school. It's, it was a top performing secondary school. Big tables, all the rest of it. it from every single teacher in that school, as well as the teachers there. But he way learning that pressure by bringing on a bit of thought and care. have benefited from his his time now unfortunately shame because my middle class has just started there but hey so as any queen Okay. A quick question. 
So if you want to read the papers that were uh, last week? Yeah, I ran to last week. I think from memory, did Chaz the technology one? Of those bit of he did things. indeed, yeah, yes. I, thought, uh, I remember a bit of banter on the uh, Chaz week <laughs> about it. <laughs> yeah, he and I have a lot of banter. You, you <laughs> should hear him when I'm training him. <laughs> Still banter. <laughs> I've got a lot of self promotion from them about that paper, but yeah, I, you know, I read them. I thought they really good and want to work because I've been to the world of learning. Not this um, recently changed jobs, but the previous two, so I was intrigued to kind of see what work you're doing on, on, on the webinar day. It's in the perfect right. So, yeah. You see, we're learning. We always want to put more yeah. into practice. Hey, we now not learning. Oh, I'm glad you cried them. The others will be uh, the small being published shortly. I'll not tell you which one can please I get it wrong. What I need you to do is to leave any feedback on this webinar at hashtag learning. We lack good by different backgrounds. I took, there's a phrase that I, I picked up a while ago that was um, feedback is the breakfast champion. I don't know how that sits with you. Absolutely. That, that, that was a phrase I used when I was um, doing a training course for Toastmasters some years ago. Because <laughs> 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 I was training a course on feedback. I had, I had the slide on the end I put together. So it was literally a sandwich of peanut butter down. <laughs> I'll throw that visual to the natural learning one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you wait and see what other visuals I've got for coming in store for you. We've got a few more. Where are you yet? Look forward to next week. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. We've got another three to go. I'm not sure. I've got another four to go. I'm not sure. There might be an eight on what we bring out. So still one on that one. It's hard to hear from you. Please, you know, if you prefer to do something differently, did you being speak? Yeah, I think obviously last week there was an issue with kind of, with this particular lady had the microphone on and was off, so it was a bit more difficult to kind of what was going on. But I think if you kind of set the story out, which obviously you did, it's a lot more clearer. Um, yeah. I have just people willing to speak. <laughs> they might think, oh, I've now got to speak up, that's probably on me. But, you know, I think said a few phrases and words. Uh, I think things then be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. Yeah, I take it as it goes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but for me, you know, having you speaking as one mark, it's a vocal variety for the audience. Yeah, absolutely. So, when I'm to the technology webinar, she taking part in that with me. Because I, I bow to his expertise. Three <laughs> quarters of the way through my script already, by, by the way. Oh, you are speaking to me now. <laughs> I've just been letting you get on with it. Thank you. I thought about the beginning about being too scripted. I've been misread that. <laughs> yeah, I'll speak to him later on that one, Mark. Don't worry. <laughs> I have no script for this. I literally have. Like I remember to write down, down a point myself. I put blue teeth. That was it. Because I've come off the web and I think, oh, shit, I think it's, you know, get so into what I'm doing. I have to get about, hey, do you know what? Mate, I'm not getting right. But I go wrong now and again, providing my authors have got what they want. Yeah. Um, I attended a facilitating course this week, and there was mm -hmm. there was this slide. You didn't know what you were going to prepare for. You just actually make things up on the spot, like an improv. Like, yeah. Like, like how are you on the TV with um, Paul Merton? And it was literally like that in terms of how you go about facilitating. So completely from a room of like to be well prepared and rehearsed, not like in the same which order. It was, it was quite scary to go from one extreme to the other. So um, that was interesting course as well. I was on a course once some years ago. I take notes. If I'm if I'm a learner now, I, I take notes. 
Mm. It does lie there, but I still take notes because for me, it's, it's embedded into me. Mm. And I'm sitting there taking notes, and this trainer turned around and said, you don't notes. It, you know, it's one slide. It's, and I had to stop making notes, and just from that point on, I couldn't. Mm. So, you know, that's why sometimes on, I know Sharon, particularly with pearl catchers, they've got little toys that people fiddle with and play because it helps mind and do with your hands sometimes. And so it opens your mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I believe you. And all I can say, you've been absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much. Thanks very much indeed. Uh, has been recorded and, and our catchers will be sharing it shortly. So you can again if you so desire. But I look to having you both next week. Okay, thanks very much indeed. You'll take care and have a good week. Thank you. Bye. Bye.